I don't have to look anymore. I mean, I probably will. This humongous, ginormous box, which spans half the room. Mm. Who needs hummus when you have soft serve? And today I bring you a good old-fashioned unboxing and uh, we have a new brand that well I have got a few pieces from this brand in the past but I have just sort of seen it or discovered it with fresh eyes for the first time per se uh, so I'll explain a little bit of that in a moment uh, we have a few new iconic bits in but this uh, what's in the box is not from the <laughs> iconic this is from for a time uh, an Australian design brand um, I have been gifted some Oriton pieces which I still wear today um, absolutely fantastic designer and as I was flipping through their website because they are having a sale right now I just completely fell in love with what they were doing and just really a lot of thought of detail into the tailoring um, following women's bodies accentuating uh, you know shape I was just very impressed however I stumbled upon their website uh, because I have been looking for quite some time a straw or rattan or woven bag and I have had no luck uh, there are obviously a lot of high-end designer ones that I've had my eye on but uh, not quite ready to invest in something quite that uh, of that uh, stature yet um, now this bag wasn't cheap but it wasn't too expensive either it was quite mid-tier and it was in the perfect size and in the perfect design that I wanted so I was looking for a typically shaped straw bag uh, that sort of you know, goes in like a trapezium kind of shape uh, but I was wanting a bit of like detail in there and also not too large because a lot of the straw bags out there are absolutely massive and I just can't wear the really big bag I mean it's just not for me not to mention I don't want to be overfilling it with lots of things anyway so I was looking for something that I wanted to be quite uh, pretty sorry and I began to open it there which I will say but I'll actually uh, post this on my Instagram as well but yes, I wanted uh, to find the perfect size, shape, design, features for this bag. So I've been looking for quite a few years actually, and I hope I have found it today. So let's get to the unboxing. Very lovely. Well, wow. Oh my goodness. I am loving it already. I'm loving it already. Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, here she is. Oh my 
my goodness. Look at the design features of this little baby girl. Okay, she's gorgeous. <laughs> she's gorgeous. Um, wow, this is a big moment. Uh, considering how long it has taken me to find the perfect summer bag at the right point, price point and the right size with the right colors and design features, I am absolutely chuffed. So, Is. So, this is the Oriton, does have a particular name? Oriton Madison, Madison Small Tote in the natural brandy colour. Um, and what drew me to this bag, number one, was the size because I was looking for something that wasn't too big. I'm not a really big bag kind of gal, I've discovered. Um, so this is a lovely small to medium size which is just perfect and I also was drawn to the fact that it had this lovely um, charm of Oriton hanging off the front which was very different and I also loved this clasp here which is a fantastic design feature for practicality wise so all your things don't fall out. Um, and again, the color of the straps. It's a lovely medium tan color, not too bright, not too dark. Um, and also the, the weave on the bag is very natural and the shape of the bag is a very natural looking, very natural looking, which is what I wanted. Nothing too structured and proper. I want it to be casual, but elevated with these kinds of details here. Now, upon the inside, uh, we have a removable, canvas pouch. Oh, is it removable? Hold on. Yes, she is removable. Um, and I'll take it out fully so you can see, although I think we agree. I think I have to get back on. Okay, so it has these studs at the bottom which attach, how clever, I didn't even know this was here, but attach to the bottom of the bag itself so you don't have to worry about losing your things. Um, and it comes with this lovely branded with a leather uh, branding at the front uh, pouch uh, which you can also choose to do up like this if you wish uh, and again lovely leather straps and accents so it's quite a generous size it can fit quite a few things in here and um, just enough for me and then I'm assuming you would just clip this back in and uh, away you go so you don't have to include this pouch in this bag you can remove it and take it out which I thought was fantastic um, to have that option of removable lining um, and also quite handy again because sometimes you just don't want people to know what's in your bag and uh, straw bags tend to be very open so people can sort of see what's in there and I've also noticed it comes with a another pouch on the inside where you can probably slip your phone or just your cards or anything like that so this bag comes with they've thought of everything it comes with it all now for the uh, main event just to see uh, how it goes with my outfit and how it does uh, styling up so let's get to it um okay wow <laughs> just just wow um she is perfect she is the perfect size and at first i was like oh the straps are a little long but i kind of like that because now you have the option to obviously wear it um up on your shoulder and just the perfect size and actually a nice little uh hand rest there or armrest there as well and also loving that my goods are nice and secure on the inside but um wow what the most perfect summer bag and at a very very reasonable price point so uh, if you haven't sussed out Oriton and what they are doing lately get onto it they are doing some amazing things and also have an amazing sale on right now as well so I highly recommend that you go check them out and this bag also comes in three different sizes the Madison bag and I chose to go for the smallest one so just letting you know I picked this up in the smallest size which happened to be the cheapest ironically because generally the smaller bags go these days according to most designers um the more expensive they become so I was very happy that this um smaller bag came at a smaller price <laughs> so perfect um I found the bag I found the bag I don't have to look anymore I mean I probably will but I don't have to look any further wow okay
This is a very great start to the video in terms of unboxing. I am very chuffed. And yes, you will be seeing the official cutting of the tag because this baby is staying. And you know how bad my scissors are, so I'm hand holding and doing this in one hand, and it's probably not going to sleep. It's never. Oh no, it did! Oh gosh, sorry. And yes, I am half undressed because I was getting changed. Um, <laughs> but anyway, there she is. Unsnipped and here to stay. Okay, and this is a quick little uh, snippet to show how this mirror actually got here in the first place. Mm. It arrived uh, today, being five days prior to my birthday, and um, <laughs> my husband is lovingly tapping me on the head with this monster. Um, so this, guys, is my birthday present, this humongous ginormous box which spans half the room uh inside here is a mirror that i had my eye on for quite some time and it went on sale and it's from a place called print decor and um apparently they were featured on the block which i had no idea about and apparently this mirror got even famous but honestly i had no idea i was just looking for a brass mirror basically um and I found one I actually wanted to be a decent size um because as you can see I'm dealing with quite a small mirror right now and this would be just like a long-term purchase so as a gift on behalf of my family who put in for this and I put in my own money as well uh I got this mirror for my birthday the only problem is is that mirrors are very fragile obviously and my husband has warned me um that you know, this is going to be quite some feat putting up. It's about 28 kilos and fragile and put those both together and include me into that um, scheme and you've got a recipe for a semi-disaster. But I am an optimist and I believe we can do this. And we also have to keep the box because we'll also have to move this to the next house. So my husband's not very happy. But anyway, it's my birthday, so we don't care. All right. I'm just going to include a few clips of seeing how we do this. We may not end up putting it up. We'll see how it goes. Um, we'll see how it's packaged um, because obviously we'd have to get it back into the said packaging. And yes, it is called the Bjorn Arch Brass or Mirror by a company called middle of Norway, which is uh, where I might be if this doesn't go well. <laughs> okay. We have a very cute little spectator watching on. wanted it to be the front obviously but that's okay where there's a will there's a way okay take two and we have flipped it around to the other side so now we can actually see the front of it so it's good to know that it is all how it should be however we're still very much deliberating if we get this out of the box how we would get it back in the box I'm in the line of thinking that we would obviously place the bubble wrap back over, put the box behind on the back wall, and then we would have to manually lift from either side and slot it back in. And then navigate it back to the floor and obviously insert all the foam protection around it. But we're not mirror experts, so this is why we're kind of standing here looking at it at this point and not sure what we are doing. But, it's still a very pretty mirror. Yes, thanks for your contribution. Thank you. Okay, guys. We have it in the standing position. Our marriage nearly ended. But it's okay. We have decided to continue. <laughs> On as a couple. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, the big reveal. Let's do this. So, we have a plan of action when this is going back so obviously we'll do everything reverse this bubble wrap sock will go on first we will lean the box originally against the wall 
get the foam, and then we'll go from there and pray, of course. That is a piece of work. That is a piece of work. That is what you call a statement piece. And look how perfect the sizing is, well, for the moment anyway. And yes, the floor does in a vacuum, which I was meant to do today, but I'll do it another day. Well, so, not my best first outfit in this mirror, but hey, I just thought I would share uh, how we got to this point and I will also share how we get out of this point because there's a way in and obviously we have to find ourselves a way out, but wow. Amazing. Amazing. Okay everyone, and this is actually the first time I am filming any outfit of the day with this new baby girl over here. Yes, it's the Bjorn Lena Arch Mirror. Uh, apparently very popular, but I had no idea. I was basically just searching for an arch mirror that was brass. And here she is, and she's working. And we have done a little bit of decluttering, as you can see, lovely and clean up top there. And now we just have to do this section, which is still bothering me, is all my husband's footwear. So we will be taking care of that. But anyhow, I do need to rush because we have been unexpectedly summoned to a little uh, get together at the park with uh, my child's little friends and my personal friend as well. Uh, so I have literally jumped out of the shower. My hair is quite oily, but it's holding up okay for now. And I've popped on my cotton on uh, shift dress, which is the absolute perfect dress for a day like this. It is the first clear sunny day in spring I think I have seen uh, the entire time it has become spring. So we're going to make the most of it. And I've just popped on a very, very old, actually, it's, let's get close in the mirror here. Oh! Look at that. And yes, no makeup today because I'm going to be slathered in sunscreen. And again, I'm not bothering with the hair. I'll probably have a hat on and glasses and so forth. Uh, very old crystal chain necklace. Very inexpensive. Um, and just some simple rings. And also very old. I actually think this bangle was from Sports Girl. And it's just a collection of three different sort of basic bangles, uh, rose gold, a lovely emerald green, which I think is so perfect for the warmer seasons of the year. So I want to get a few more jewelry pieces in this color, actually, with a bit of pop of color. It's got this lovely little uh, leaf detail charm hanging off as well. So I'm going to uh, run out the door as we speak, and I'm going to throw on my new um, Los Cabos flats, and I might even take this little one out for a spin because since we're having a little picnic gathering at the park this is the perfect little picnic straw bag moment to use this in so without further ado i'm going to get out of here and uh, i will see you for my next outfit of the day in light of it being the absolute perfect day and some of our little friends have snacks in their basket we have stopped off at the park for a little picnic and I'm taking the new babies for a stroll and this baby as well my new uh, linen dress from cotton on the perfect thing to throw on when you are rushing out of the house Ooh, what is this contraption mister all right how about I hold your hand and I can help you across here we go ready you can do it Ooh, it's wobbly, isn't it? I think I can do it. Really? Are you sure? <laughs> I think hold my hand. Here you go. Perfect. Whoa! Nice one. Oh, look! This is a climbing rope. Is this a park or boot camp? I have no idea. I think we bought this Mack truck and I love this toilet truck. This is so handy. I feel like we should have one of these in like in real life. This is How handy would that be? Just go in the back, do your business, keep driving. I love it. Um, Mom, can I ask you something? Of course you can. Oh, 
That looks like just a normal. Oh no, no, it's got a spoiler. It's maybe like a sports car. It's a GTR. Could be. Aren't these absolutely gorgeous? These purple bottle brushes. <laughs> Whatever they are, they're quite gorgeous, but I do think I could um, tolerate these in my garden, not just because we don't have the room, but uh, the amount of bees. And I love bees because they're very important, but I have been stung by one and I have learned my lesson about bees. Thank you. And on the road, I happen to pick up a mountain full of sausage rolls from the bake shop, which I haven't Yay! been to a bake shop in so long. Oh, I know. But look, there they are. Oh, can't wait to tuck in. <gasps> and I'm going to enjoy this with my famous coconut water iced latte, which I'm doing these differently now. So I will tell you about that shortly, what I'm doing differently with these, but very yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Just removed this from the packet, but... An apple cake. I haven't had one of these, I feel, since high school. These are the yummiest. It's like <coughs> apple pie crust with apple pie filling and then this gorgeous, yes, this gorgeous fondant. Oh, sugary deliciousness. I think I'm going to have this and enjoy this with some whipped cream because I'm feeling extra today. Oh my goodness, they are. Look. <gasps> Strawberries. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that one. A whole bunch of them i didn't realize they came with such beautiful pink flowers and to think this was outside the shopping center well who knew special out to the air and look at this oat free porridge now this looks promising it's on special hmm. cranberry and coconut so what's in there God. What has it got here? Hmm. It's promising. I might give this a go. And oh my gosh, they're now selling sugar free bubble tea. I mean, I actually have made this myself, by the way, and it never turns out well. But know, this could be a winner, actually. I have to try it when it's on special. And I randomly picked up from the post office, because I don't know why, but when you're standing in line at the post office, there's always so many interesting gifts and things to look at. And I happened to spot this aromatherapy diffusion. I thought this would make just a perfect gift for someone for their birthday. Uh, and I think I might throw in a few essential oils as well. But um, yeah, what you can find at the chemist now, an aromatherapy diffuser, how handy is that? I just know that I absolutely flog mine at home. And uh, I got that from Kmart. Even the oils I got from came and it's been absolutely amazing. But yes, I happened to see it. So I thought, look, whilst I'm in the neighborhood, why not? I always say seize the moment when it comes to gifts. Don't wait because the next minute it'll be gone or you would have forgotten what you may have wanted to give someone in the first place. Hi guys. And we have just made a little stop over to Mama's house. And I just noticed something super cute on the windowsill. Let me show you. Not only is this and this very gorgeous, but look at this. Chanel Boy. I didn't even know if this was ever a fragrance, but I'm certainly going to look it up. How gorgeous is that? It's a mini, probably the size of my, maybe two of my fingernails. Anyway, very, very cute. Very bougie, actually. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I've never seen the sky look like this after the deluge of weather we've just had. Isn't that crazy? All these lumps and bumps. So, turns out my husband won a bet, so it's a takeaway tonight. <laughs> only, we only eat at the finest places. <laughs> and uh, for anyone curious about the new Tim Tam McFlurry, I am going to experience it for you. You are welcome, everyone. All right, well, let's have a try. Has anyone else done this before? You dipped your salty chip into the uh, good old soft serve. All right, let's give this a try. needs hummus when you have soft serve. <laughs> Ew, who says that? Mmm, <laughs> soft serve, Tim Tam, hot fry. I'm living my food dream right now. Living my food dream. Mm. 
Yum. All right, what are we after here? Um, Okay, I didn't think they do have what I'm after. I the Sapporo. Sapporo, Sapporo. Hey. Hi, Sapporo. Woo, I'm getting cold. <laughs>